The Israeli government on Monday released footage of Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu clad in a helmet and Kevlar vest, arriving by tank to greet soldiers inside the Gaza Strip. He tells them the war is not over. It will end in total victory, no less than that. His remarks come after reports that the leaders of Hamas, the Palestinian Islamist group that governed Gaza, rejected an Egyptian proposal that they relinquish power in the enclave in exchange for a permanent ceasefire. That's according to two Egyptian security sources who spoke to Reuters on Monday. An official from Hamas later denied what the sources said about the talks. Fighting in Gaza erupted after Palestinian fighters rampaged through Israeli communities on October 7th, killing 1,200 and taking hundreds of captives. Israel retaliated with a full-blown invasion aimed at eradicating Hamas and bringing the captives home. Punishing airstrikes and ground maneuvers have transformed cities into wastelands, and Gaza's health ministry said last week the death toll had topped 20,000. Thousands more are believed buried beneath the rubble. The last 48 hours have been particularly deadly. At least 70 people were killed in an Israeli airstrike on the Mughazi refugee camp in the middle of the Gaza Strip. A warning to viewers, this video includes graphic images of death and destruction. Ibrahim Mohammed Al-Haj Yusuf lost his wife and four children in the attack. He told Reuters, quote, My wife and children are still trapped inside. I only managed to uncover my eldest son, Mohammed. What fault did they have? Why did this happen to them? It's not their fault. The world watches us die and being slaughtered. Are these the resistance? They are innocent children. The Israeli army said it was reviewing the report of the Maghazi strike and was committed to minimizing harm to civilians. Israel says Hamas operates in densely populated areas and uses civilians as human shields, which Hamas denies. Egypt and Qatar have shuttled between Hamas and Israel in an effort to reach some kind of a ceasefire that might provide for the return of hostages and the delivery of humanitarian aid. The Egyptian sources said that Hamas had rejected offering any concessions beyond the possible release of more hostages in exchange for a permanent ceasefire. Israel says it would consider a temporary pause in fighting in exchange for prisoners, but it would not consider a permanent ceasefire that leaves Hamas in control of Gaza. The footage released by Israel showed Netanyahu glad-handing with combat soldiers who pledge until the end. But back in parliament that day, he faced heckling from some hostages' families. They chanted, now, now, now and demanding that he pursue the release of captives at all costs. Netanyahu responded that an earlier ceasefire, which resulted in the release of some 100 captives, would not have happened without military pressure on Hamas. More than 100 Israelis are believed still held hostage in Gaza.